Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a warning about bad luck. This story actually came out earlier last week and I just missed it. Basically, researchers posted a page for bad luck, which is the name of a new vulnerability that apparently is going to affect Samba and Windows. Now to start, do know that we really don't know anything about bad luck yet other than it's going to affect Samba. That's because this early warning is simply a FAQ telling you to expect a fix for this flaw on April 12th, which is next month's Microsoft patch day. Now, if you haven't heard of Samba, basically it's the Unix implementation of SMB. And SMB is a file and print sharing protocol used by Windows and Unix servers and, and other servers out there. Now again, we don't know anything about this flaw other than this warning says it will be critical. That suggests it's probably a remote code execution flaw. It could be a flaw that basically just communicating with the SMB server could allow you to gain full access of the server, or it could be a flip of that where if you can get a client to visit a, a specially crafted SMB server, you could take over the client. In either case, SMB is pretty prevalent on internal networks to share files, and in the past, flaws like these could be used by things like worms to automatically spread through networks. So indeed, this could be a very serious issue. That said, do know there's some controversy around this early release. For instance, to some security researchers or security pundits out there, they kind of are skeptical whenever a vulnerability is released with a marketing name. The people that support naming vulnerabilities say it's a good tool to enforce increased awareness of very critical flaws, while the more skeptical folks out there think it's kind of like a marketing stunt. Now that aside, some of the more serious controversy is around whether or not it's a good idea to pre-release this type of issue. By giving three weeks notice that there is a flaw in SMB, some security pundits argue that it might give attackers an opportunity to find this flaw. For instance, some security researchers point out that the bad lock name might suggest that this is an issue with SMB file locking, and now bad guys know what to look for if they want to find this serious vulnerability and use it before it's patched. By the way, one other controversy is this flaw was actually found by one of the people that helped code Samba on Unix systems. So it's kind of ironic that someone that contributed a lot of Samba code actually found a vulnerability in that code as well. Anyways, controversy aside, I'm actually going to take this warning at face value. For these folks to have uh, felt the need to let the world know that a very big Windows and Samba flaw is coming out on April 12th suggests that this indeed is probably a fairly critical vulnerability. So really the takeaway is simple. If you're a Windows administrator or you're a Linux administrator that uses SMB file shares within your network, you want to keep on top of this. On April 12th, make sure to look for the Samba and the Windows updates uh, that fix this flaw and check out what the flaw is and see if it's critical enough that you want to jump on it that day. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.